Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Muradov, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kiev, Ukraine. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a very important topic. I feel like we need to bring this up from time to time and talk about specifics about different types of clothing and essentially basic stuff in your wardrobe and mistakes that a lot of people end up making in terms of picking up these specific items. And let me know, obviously, in the comments below which items in your closet you would like me to talk about for example mistakes that people make when choosing jeans jackets blazers bags t-shirts etc etc because there's a lot of them and from my practice and i've been working as a personal stylist for the last even more than 10 years at the moment so i feel like there's a lot to talk about we'll start today with coat mistakes that a lot of people make and then we'll just go further for the topics that you would like me to cover and obviously let me know in the comments below which topics would you like me to cover in these videos So we'll start with the coats and there's a lot to be said about picking out coats and I feel like people do not necessarily understand what a good kind of a coat is because there's just such a huge variety of them on the market and obviously not everything that's labeled a coat is actually a coat if you know what I mean let me just explain so for example you go into H&M you go into Zara you go into a different kind of mass market brand and what you see that's labeled as a coat is not necessarily a coat because sometimes a coat could be very loose, doesn't have a structure, it could be made out of very cheap materials, it could be very like crinkly and therefore it looks more like a cardigan than a coat. So this is the same mistake actually that usually people end up making when they go to buy a blazer. Blazers are very specific and I'm also very anal about blazers being perfect because I feel like blazers are that kind of thing that you can either do absolutely right or absolutely wrong and a lot of brands not even necessarily mass market brands end up doing them wrong because they lose structure etc so there's a lot to be said about all of these things and the first mistake that's usually made in terms of picking out a coat and also obviously creating a coat if we're talking about a brand perspective is definitely a lack of structure so when you have a lack of structure what does it look like like. It looks like the shoulders are absolutely down, the material is very thin, so the coat doesn't hold its shape. The seams are actually very like bursting and very loose and therefore as opposed to the ideal coat where you can see all the seams standing up perfectly, the shoulders are standing up perfectly, the coat holds its shape and it has its own shape as opposed to clinging to your body. What you see a lot, especially obviously in the mass market brands because it's cheaper and it's produced much cheaper with cheaper fabrics on cheaper um, factories etc etc you know what i mean there's not a lot of tension that's paid to these items what you end up seeing is a coat that looks more like a cardigan because it's very loose it's very flowy it's pretty thin it doesn't hold its shape so the shoulders are very down so obviously there's two types of shoulder placement in a coat the shoulders could be like on the looser side and then you have this kind of overly shape to the shoulders which is very specific to for example Cristobal Balenciaga creations and then there's another polar opposite of that one let's say the perfect example for that one would be YSL shows recent YSL shows very structured very pointy structured beautiful huge shoulders that are not down that are standing up that look absolutely amazing and you look statuesque in this kind of a coat so there's only two types of shoulder placement in a coat and for the first one so for the looser placement of a shoulder what you're looking for is not necessarily a shoulder that's standing up but the structure of a coat so basically the shape of a coat is very definite it's not too loose it holds its shape it's very structured and when you put it on 
you end up having a different kind of shape on you as opposed to the coat hanging totally just like a piece of a cloth on you and clinging to your body which is not what we're going for and then there's the second the best coat ever which i absolutely love i love this kind of a shoulder placement and what i mean by that is a very pointy structured shoulder that holds its shape it's not down it's pointing outwards and it looks absolutely amazing and very regal to me and what we're looking in this kind of a coat is for example first of all the shoulders are on their place and holding their shape second of all you cannot visibly see a padded shoulder underneath the material so if you can see the lines of the padded shoulder placement this means that the material is too thin so it's not appropriate for this specific kind of item so what we're looking for is a structured coat that when you put it on looks very regal it holds its shape and you end up having this shape on you as opposed to this coat swallowing you and clinging to your body so a coat is a structural element always and forever will be a structural element that basically is one of the most important outwear pieces, ends up creating your whole look, ends up creating your whole structure and all the balance of shapes in your looks. So it's really important to get the structure right and it's really important for your coat to hold its shape. So that's the first mistake that a lot of people make, especially in coats, just like bathrobe type coats, for example, like Max Mara inspired coats, because in Max Mara, when you get that coat, the material is thick, the shoulders are there, the shape is there. But when you buy this kind of a coat inspired by Max Mara in different brands, a lot of the times what you end up with is basically like a bathrobe as opposed to a coat, if you know what I mean. The second mistake that a lot of people make actually is the coat is too small for you. And what I mean by that is that shoulders and the sleeves are too narrow and the coat is too short and too small and what you end up having is that when you for example it's winter it's early autumn whatever it is you need a couple of layers of clothing to make yourself warm and then on top of that you put on a coat and what you end up having on you is this like very onion like layers the coat is too tight and you can obviously see the outlines of the clothing that's underneath the coat in the coat's material because it's too tight especially in terms of sleeves number one mistake i see a lot of people make is pick a coat with a very narrow sleeve and therefore you end up looking like a stuffed chicken because there's not enough space to accommodate everything that you're wearing because you need that looseness you need that air you need that space you need that volume to make you look more finished more put together to make the look more 3d etc etc so when you see a coat that's stuffed to a brim with other clothing what you C is actually a coat mistake, not a clothing mistake. Because when you pick a coat that's not too narrow in terms of a shoulder and in terms of a sleeve, and that's also, I'd advise a size bigger than you usually would pick, this is the perfect coat for you. This would look absolutely amazing even if you were to wear four layers of clothing including cardigan, blazer, sweater, blouse, shirt, whatever it is because there's enough space to accommodate everything that you're wearing and you will end up looking absolutely amazing. So the number one hack like I'm teaching all of my clients, I'm teaching all of my students is in terms of a coat, also in terms of a blazer, you need to go one size up and make sure that the sleeves are loose enough to fit everything and more. The third mistake a lot of people make is they pick a coat that's too short for their 
pick of bottoms in their clothing. What I mean by that is, for example, you are a person who has a lot of meaty maxi length skirts, dresses, jeans, pants, etc. And then you pick a coat that's basically knee length. Therefore, you end up with a very interesting, not the best looking proportion in terms of a coat and then the ending of your bottom. You have too much of material hanging around without any coat coverage and this in its turn ends up breaking up your body's proportions in the not most flattering way and it just doesn't look good if you know what i mean so what i would advise to do before buying a new coat go for your bottoms and make sure that you know your average length in terms of your bottoms and therefore coordinate your coat pick with this length and you will end up with a beautiful proportion that will look amazing on you the foolproof way to go in terms of a coat length is definitely midi or maxi in that way you will never end up losing the battle of proportions because a maxi or a mini works with everything even with a mini even with a super mini skirt short whatever it is and it will also end up looking amazing with your maxi skirts maxi dresses maxi pants whatever they are maxi pants is that even a thing floor length pants that's what i mean so maxi and midi coats are the way to go but if in your wardrobe what you see usually is something that's very knee length and most of the items in your closet are knee length or just a bit longer then a knee length kind of a skirt would make sense for your personal wardrobe so don't go after trends in terms of coat lengths make sure that the coat's length coordinates with what you have in your wardrobe what works for you what's comfortable for you also make sure that the coat coordinates with your height because I cannot even count the amount of times I've seen coats that were absolutely unused with tags new in my new client's wardrobes when we started wardrobe division because they've bought a very popular, a very trendy coat, but the length of the coat did not coordinate and work with that person's height. So someone bought a maxi coat and they were very petite. And on the other end of the spectrum, someone bought a knee length coat, but their height was 180 centimeters. So this coat on them was like a mini coat, basically like a cute, warm, meaty dress. So always make sure that it's not about a trend, but it's about your height and your proportions. And the last mistake a lot of people make actually is, first of all, choosing a coat online is usually correlated with a lot of mistakes, especially in terms of your material department and the length, because you cannot try this coat on. And a lot of times, especially mass market brands, what they do is they actually kind of retouch the coat, all the seams and everything, and make it look much better than it really is in person so the worst thing and the worst mistake someone can make in terms of picking out a coat is picking out a coat with very thin synthetic cheap materials because then there's no way to save that coat and that look altogether because it's gonna crease because it's not gonna hold its shape because it's going to make all of the clothing that's underneath the coat kind of peek through the material therefore you're gonna look like you've put on a bathrobe on your clothing as opposed to a thick beautiful quality coat so always make sure to check the tag or the label online so basically what is the material of this clothing so when you go online for example it's Zara, H&M whatever it is the coat may look amazing beautiful the lighting the structure everything's there but then when you go to the label and you see the label it's 99 90% polyester which is honestly most of the times 
the worst in terms of your outerwear because first of all it's not warm at all if you're going for that look or if you're going for that effect for your coat which most people are going for and second of all it's gonna crease like hell it's not gonna look beautiful the material is gonna be too thin most of the time it's not gonna hold its shape therefore the money is absolutely wasted so i feel like most of the time what i would go for or what i would recommend is either saving up and buying one but quality kind of a coat or there's a second option and it's absolutely amazing you can thrift a beautiful coat for minimum money but it's gonna look amazing and what i suggest going for or going to a specific place is making sure that you check out men's thrift section because the best structured beautiful natural best materials are in there the best coats wool coats vintage oversized chocolatey brown black burgundy whatever you want are in there just go for your size in men's section because they're going to be oversized even in your size because of the shoulder placement in men's section so that's the best tip i could give you the best blazers the best coats are in the men's section in thrift stores so let me know in the comments below what is your favorite way to shop for a coat maybe you have some life hacks that you've been doing over the course of your life that worked for you that you can share or maybe you could share your favorite coat brands that are kind of medium priced budget friendly but work amazingly for you and for your wardrobe and this is it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye